Dear students, today we will learn how to calculate compound interest when the interest is compounded half yearly. I am repeating. How to calculate compound interest when the interest is compounded half yearly. So here are three important points. Number one, regarding the rate of interest. What we have to do is, the rate of interest is R percent per annum. It becomes R by 2 percent per half year. Second important thing is regarding time. The time T years becomes 2 T half years. Now you can imagine if it is one year, one year meaning two half years. If it is two years, two years meaning four half years. If it is three years, three years meaning six half years. So we will be remembering this for the case of time. If time is in years and the interest is compounded half yearly, the time becomes two multiplied by t half years. And we will be using the same formula. First, we compute the amount using the formula P into 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power T. And then we calculate compound interest by subtracting principal from the amount. Let us take one example. Kamal borrowed rupees 57,600 from LIC against her policy at 12.5% per annum to build a house. Find the amount that she pays to the LIC after one and a half years if the interest is calculated half yearly. Dear students, in this question, if you notice, the principal is 57,600 and uh, the policy is at 12.5% uh, per annum. So for uh, this per half year, the rate of interest will become 12 and half divided by 2. So 12 and half we can write as 12.5. So 12.5% per annum meaning 12.5 divided by 2% per half year. I hope it is clear. Now regarding the time, it is given 1 and half years. So 1 and half years meaning, yes, you need to multiply this by 2 for getting number of half years. So one and half years meaning three half years. Yes, you are right. One and half, we can write as three by two. So three by two multiplied by two gives us three. So one and half years is three half years. So we now have principal, rate and time. Now we calculate the amount first. Amount is P into one plus R by 100 raised to the power T. So P is 57,600, R is 12.5 upon 2. So here the expression will become 57,600 into 1 plus 12.5 upon 200 raised to the power 3 because time is 3 half years. So simplify this, take your time. And when you simplify, you get amount as 69,089.06. I hope it is clear to you. Yes, for comp comp uh, calculating this uh, compound interest, compounded half yearly. Yes, we need to remember two things. The time gets doubled and the rate becomes half.